Hey everyone, it's Brandy, and you are watching Abstract Crafter. Oh my god, what do we got here? Is that a diamond painting in that box? Well, I think it is. I think it's a diamond painting from Victoria's Moon? Victoria's Moon.co.uk, in fact. <laughs> so if you are as excited as I am about my return to filming diamond painting unboxings, then just keep on watching and we will get into that as soon as we roll that intro credit. Why, hello friends. Welcome back. So, there's probably quite a few of you that I haven't seen in a while because I've taken a small break from diamond painting. But rest assured, I'm going to bring a little bit of it back. It won't be full-time on my channel. Still, I'm still going to mix in other crafts and stuff, but there are some diamond paintings I've been dying to do. I mean, I have quite a collection, and I do want to get working on them. And this one in particular is exceptionally cute. And a little backstory before we get into opening this, as you know, I always do. This is from Victoria's Moon, and they are a UK-based company. Let me grab my notes. They're way far away, and I can't read off of them. Uh, let me see here. So they are, they claim to be the largest supplier of DPs in Britain. So it's pretty cool that I got something from them. And actually, a wonderful lady reached out to me and asked if I would do a review for them. And I get a lot of requests for reviews, and I don't do them very often. A lot of times it's they want me to pay first and then they'll reimburse me. And you know that I don't do reviews in that way because I don't find that to be very ethical. It's just, I don't know, it's kind of a way of cheating for reviews. But they, you know, but if a company wants to send me something free of charge for me to review, I'm more than happy to do that. But I like to do my research first to make sure that it's something that I think you guys would like. And I don't want to just pick a painting just to pick one because a lot of the paintings that I've chosen in the past, they have some kind of special meaning. So I checked out their inventory and let me tell you, they have a lot. They're very reasonably priced and I think we'll start opening this and then I'll continue to tell you a little bit more about Victoria's Moon. Plus that name is just cool. One thing that I thought was really funny is check this out. I don't know why I find that funny, but I think it's hilarious. And let me just make sure my address isn't going to show. I don't know where it's at. And also, as you know, I have just moved. Well, those of you that have been keeping up with my videos beyond diamond painting know that I've moved into a new house. I am in, this is the first video, in fact, that I'm filming in my new craft area and filming area, I guess. It's my little studio, my little crafting YouTube studio. So... Uh, let's open this up and then we'll keep talking. So she told me I could have any painting I wanted. Uh, and they would send me the size 60 by 60. Which is, as you know, a giant size. So if we can't see it all in just the steady format with this camera, then we will um, take you down and you know give you that kind of more vloggy style look at the painting. Because I want to make sure you guys get a nice good look at it. And I'm just getting back into this myself, you know, it's been a long time, a couple months since I've done an unboxing of a diamond painting. And even then, there wasn't, it wasn't really unboxings, it was unbaggings. So, yeah, anyway, back to the point of this is, so I started looking through the inventory to see what I wanted. There were so many pictures that were just gorgeous and unique. Um, some, of course, as most companies, they have just the same multitude of paintings you know the basics and generics I like to call them and oh gosh that's all taped really nicely oh sorry about that I'm not getting into this very easily but so they had a lot uh, that were pretty cute and this one in particular I really like and when you actually see the painting you'll probably get it if not I'll explain to you why I ended up choosing this one but I did have a really hard time choosing a painting because there were so many that I liked and I in fact if this goes well I most likely will be ordering again okay hang tight 
Let's get just get past that, huh? Let's get rid of that packaging. And I hear my dog barking to come in, so I am going to take a little pause and go let him in. And then we'll get into a little bit more about Victoria's moon. Okay. He's in. We are having like a mini heat wave. I thought we were done with all the heat. But I guess a little bit of a surprise today. So isn't this packaging? I think this is really cute. And I don't blame them for this. This was shipped to me. I think it was DHL. And she wanted to ship it to me fast so I could get the video done. It's just unfortunate for <laughs> that I was moving at the same time. But look at this. i got to show you on the packaging. Let me just cover my address quick. This is the first piece of mail that I got that actually has Abstract Crafter in the name. Ah! <laughs> oh, that phone number wasn't working. I had to look at it to make sure, but that's no longer a working number. You can try it, but I don't think you'll get very far with it. So, and the other thing I thought was pretty cool about this company is that they do offer customs starting at $12.99, and that would be a 25 by 30. They do go all the way up to 100 by 100, centimeters for $79.99. Uh, a 50 by 50 would be $29.99. Oh, and I forgot. I usually like to show you what's inside. So let me get back here. Let's just shove those back in. They offer rounds and squares for most of their pictures. Okay, so it was just packed like that with them right inside. And so then they fell out, obviously, and there is the canvas. And I can just tell you already that that canvas feels pretty nice just from first impressions all right so that's that so it did look like that was the actual diamond painting that got smushed a little hopefully it's okay uh let's unwrap this from behind oh sorry about that i just bumped you look at it from behind because then we can see and there's our tool kits i have no idea what that paper is We'll have to look at that more closely in a minute. Yeah, I have no clue. There's no paperwork or anything with this, so no inventory or anything like that. But it does look like they weigh their diamonds. I am so out of touch with diamond painting. You have no idea. I don't. There's so many new companies out and new products, new trays, new pens, new everything. I am so behind. That's what happens when you take just a couple month break. But it does look like there's a little, quite a bit of wrinkling right in the center. But we may be able to get that out. And again, that's where this box had been bent. And I think that was probably from the shipping company. Plus, it came from the UK, so I'm not going to be too hard on them for that. Plus, I'm in a really good mood as this is the first unboxing I'm doing in the new studio. Uh, so let's flip this over. So this is a 60 by 60 and this particular painting I picked square and it retails. If I could stop bumping you, I apologize for all the shaking. I'm waiting on some new equipment. I have equipment that works for small spaces, not large spaces. So I can't even really, other than inserting a picture from the website, show you. And I was trying to look, it looks like there's just the one chart on this side. And I'll give you this little thumbnail, and I'll insert a picture here in a minute. But you can see it's a gorgeous painting with a fairy hugging a giant cat. Or maybe it's a regular sized cat and a giant fairy, or a tiny fairy. Who knows? But it does look like there's 35 colors. And this particular chart does have the DMC numbers on them, it looks like. Let me peel this paper back a tiny bit. Yes, it does look like it. And since we're right here, let's take a close-up of this part of the chart. And that looks really good and clear. And as you know, no matter how good or how bad your lighting is, it's super reflective on diamond paintings because of the nature of diamond paintings. Oh, that's a nice sticky. Yeah, that's really nice. So we're going to have to peel this paper back and try to flatten it out the best that we can. I am going to come to the other side of the table so my hands will be coming down instead of up at you. So forgive me for that. i got to grab my little flattener tool. My voice is going to travel a bit. You'll have to forgive me for that. I don't have a mic yet. I am also waiting on something like that. The other thing I'm noticing is that there's two different kinds of paper on here. So you can see the regular 
center group on the bottom and then this other one this usa twin adhesive so that it's new to me it might not be new to you but it's new to me and it looks like it's one giant sheet and then the smaller sheet right here and i'm hoping i'm in frame here but um, you'll just have to forgive my kinks the kinks uh, i'm working out all of this stuff and this is also as much as it's a review it is also kind of a test of how to film in my new space. So you'll have to be, stay tuned. I'm going to start working on my wedding custom painting. And I'll be doing some drill with me's on there. And if you haven't been watching my other videos, uh, I, which I understand. I'm not saying anything. I understand. Um, you'll have to come watch the drills, drill with me's to get caught up on all the things that you may have missed from my crafting chats and other non-diamond painting related oh that is just it's just how I'm having a hard time pulling it back obviously the first time I don't want to pull too hard in case there are anything in case there is anything geez Brandy um that's not maybe adhered properly I don't want to pull it up even more and I'm gonna just pull back to about there and I'm going to come check that side to make sure that you're seeing most of the picture but this looks amazing I can see the symbols super clearly it looks amazing and I'm gonna test the difference between the two because maybe center group it looks like the same like the logos look similar just bigger on the top piece but I want to see if it's the same quality and it does appear to be, it doesn't, I don't feel a difference at all between the two. So that's the first half. Let me come peek. You can probably hear my flip flops flip flopping away. So there's the first half and that's the fairy. And look, you can see her. Now, if you remember though, that's not always super important. If you can't see the image, it's not necessarily a bad thing because you're looking at symbols that aren't necessarily the right color per se. So let's flatten this back down and see if we can't get some of those wrinkles out. And now underneath my cloth, there's it's a series of like three planks of wood. So I'm going to try to get the smoothest I can with this paper. It's interesting working in such an open area. I've only ever had my little table. And I can already see I'm off and I'm not connecting down here, but that is something I will fix off camera because my videos do tend to go long. And I did promise her that this video would come out on the day you're seeing it. Sorry, once again, flip flopping over onto the other side so I can try to lay this paper down. And if you haven't yet, I do strongly advise getting a bone folder, just even a cheap one. I'll put one down in the description box, in fact, for you. I do strongly advise getting one to help with this kind of thing because it does make a huge difference in getting that paper flat and flattening out your, your diamond paintings. So, so far, I'm a pretty happy camper. I mean, granted, I'm a little bit out of the loop on this kind of stuff, but let's kind of move this over a tiny bit and take a look at the kitty cat side. And you can see... Well, you can't because it's off camera, but as you could see a moment ago, that the bone folder really does help to get it flat. And I do see a little bit of the sticky coming up on the side, but it doesn't seem to actually be pulling away. It's kind of like, ah, uh, trying to think of what to compare it to. Um, tape in general, I guess, when you pull it away, because it's not actually glue, as you remember me always making sure I s state <laughs> it's not glue it's double-sided sticky tape so it's kind of like the strings sticky strings are coming like but I do see it's coming off the canvas right there right where it was folded really bad so I'm just gonna kind of smooth that down it didn't really come off oh no Let's see if I can it's like an air pocket underneath. Okay, I'll, well, that'll probably have to take a razor blade too and pop that hole, but it, 
and I'm seeing a little bit more of it right here, which it, not always will it re-adhere to the canvas, but again, that's right where that fold was. So I'm a little bit worried that the damage it received in shipping might not be able to be recouped, but let's just take that. Yeah, I don't know about this one. This little... It doesn't seem like it is something that will ruin the canvas. It's a very small area, but it's still something I will take into consideration when we wrap up. All right, so I'm coming back down. I, I know it's creepy and I know a lot of you guys really don't like the hands coming from the sky feeling. But I promise you when I get a better camera, it won't be like this or better tripod. Excuses, I know. Excuse, excuse, excuse. What else? All right, anyhow, here's the rest of the cat. And that does look pretty good too. The overall picture is really clear. I mean, I can see the symbols very clearly. It's just unfortunate that that, where that fold is, that it got, where it got creased in shipping, that it kind of pulled the tape away from the canvas. And it may have been just freshly laid too. Um, there's no telling what could have happened to that. So let's just get this smoothed down and then maybe that will help. It might be something I have to do off camera is really work on smoothing it out to make sure it adheres really nicely. I'll try to sp spend extra attention on that when I... Because, I mean, otherwise, this is a, it's one of the most beautiful canvases that I've gotten in quite some time. And some, most of the time you can't read symbols clearly like that. I've gotten many where it's just kind of been, like you can't see the symbols. There's only a couple companies I know of that have very clear symbols from the get-go. And now Victoria's Moon is one of them. Victoria's Moon is one of them. That was a hard sentence to say. So I'm trying to push really hard right in this area where it came away from the canvas. And I can still kind of see a little bit right there. And that is directly where that fold is. But let's just let that be and let's take a look at these beads, shall we? And see what those look like. I'm going to flip this over because the stars can be a little distracting. Also, because I'm doing this for Victoria's Moon, let's get a little more center here. Let's take a look at one of the toolkits. It looks like they're both the same. They did send me two. Crinkle, crinkle, sorry. Let's just dump that out. I have, yeah, this is almost like, huh. You know what this is? That part of the canvas that got damaged. That's what it is. It's double-sided sticky tape. And please forgive my nails. I have not unpacked my nail supplies yet and they are rough. That's exactly what this is. This is in case you need to make a repair. <laughs> that is so cool. And then just some standard tweezers, a little thing of wax, a nine placer. And I am so sorry. I am off camera. I'm not even looking. Come on, Brandy. So yeah, in case you didn't see that, tiny tray, standard tweezers, little wax, and a standard pen with a nine placer on it. I haven't even unpacked any of the actual like supplies for diamond paintings. And it looks like you get the exact same kit here too. That is really nice that they give you something to repair the canvas with, in, just in case. How many companies do that? Honestly, tell me down below. Have you seen any other companies that do that? Because that's really nice. Because mistakes can happen. And just like that one, now I can repair that myself if I can't get that to go down. So let's dump these out. It's going to get crinkly for a minute. And I think I ooh, said 35 colors. 
Um, my printer's not even set up, so I can't even make a copy to make my own chart. But let's just kind of do this number and just... We also need to do a little bit of measuring on this, too. I'm just going to fold the paper back a tiny bit so we can kind of use that as a guide. Um, and because there are 35 colors, I am actually going to do this off camera. I will come back and I will let you know and if all the colors are here. Oh my gosh. Ah, but look at Wade. They are Wade. So 128.9 grams of black. But I guess we can kind of get a close up and... And just kind of see. I know my lights are kind of droning out. Maybe pick a different color. Huh, Brandy? So yeah, that I, I heard commotion on upstairs. And if you look closely, you can see. Look at the quality of those. That is amazing. You can see every cut on these beads. And when I'm going through and making sure I have all of them, I will double check because to see if that's on all of them. That is awesome. That's not something that's, in my, if I'm remembering correctly, that's not something that's super common to come across, is finding diamonds, squares particularly, that have that cut. And they do have both style cuts. And if you don't know, that makes for a better overall finished look to have that. And if you, even more so if you're not sure, Let's see if we can find one without the light drowning them out. So you get those ones with the nine cut. And then right here, there's more diagonal ones. Come on, light. There we go. Right there. More diagonal cuts, and there's about 13 cuts on those ones. So I will be right back. I'm going to make sure that we have everything. And then we'll, when I come back, we'll measure this and wrap up, and I'll give you my final thoughts and first impressions scoring I don't do that on camera anymore because there's a lot of people that don't like it but some that do but I will tell you my overall unboxing score and all that fun stuff so I will be right back as soon as I finish going through these beads and making sure they're all here well all right it looks like everything is here and accounted for I don't know if the amounts are correct I'm just gonna have to trust them most of the time in my experience when they've come weighed you always get more than enough it's almost more accurate than the 200 count bags and you get a decent amount of leftovers versus in the 200 count bags if they only you only need like five out of the then you got almost that whole 200 count bag left over so I do like when they come pre-baked and I've actually going to try working this one out of the bags. I've done it a few times on a few different projects and I don't mind it. I it, Plus I just don't have containers right now. Not At least not for a project with 35 colors. Uh, they do have in looking they do have some amazing colors and I think that the overall image is going to look pretty good. Let me insert a picture here because I realize I have not done that yet. Let me insert a picture here so I can then talk to you a little bit about the colors and my thoughts on them. So I'm going to do that here. Okay, so I think like specifically with the black cat, you got, you know, the black cat, you got these grays in this nice range that are going to complement that really well. You uh, In the greens, you have a nice variety of green colors, which I think will all work very well together also. And they're just a few shades off from each other, so that helps. And then, again, here's another gray that'll go with that. Plus, you got the dark blues that'll help with that. You got just a nice variety of purples, which I believe are in her... Let's see, dress, yes. Along with some of these more dusty mauve colors. And I'm always a fan of ombres in diamond paintings. And this is probably actually a better ombre. You know, so you can kind of start to see it 
come together a little bit just by looking at the different color families and instead of just including the standard 327 and 550 I also got 38 35 30 42 30 41 which I actually I guess I do have a few of those but you know you get a nice variety of these dusty purples and even if you don't use that many they didn't cut them out just to make it easier on them they kept them in to make the picture as gorgeous as possible you got some beautiful vibrant reds for the flowers i have a really good feeling about this company and it's not just because i got it for free i really do i can't wait to see what you guys think if you've ordered from them and stuff like that you'll have to let me know oh geez see i keep bumping my tripod i am so sorry but let's put these away and measure this to see if it does in fact measure, what did I say, 60 by 60? Yes. So let's just see. And I got a nice baggy right off camera here. This is also a new angle for me. I'm not used to filming at such an angle. I'm used to the camera being directly down. And so that's why I keep going off camera. I am so sorry. I hope this is still a good video. My lighting should be significantly better. I know with diamond paintings, it's hard because it bounces off of the stickies. And I'm actually going to throw the toolkits in with these because those are some really nice... Like, the other stuff is really standard, but the fact that they put in these extra patches just blows my mind. And even if I don't need them for this painting, there's been so many times where I thought, God, it would be nice just to have a little patch. And then I did find one straggler bead right there, but he can just go back in there. And it's air, get that nice and airtight. It saves space when it's airtight, that's all. Let's flip this back around and get some measurements going on. Overall, I am fairly impressed. I mean, it's a nice, I'm trying to get somewhat so you can see what I'm doing. It's nice to know of other companies out there besides the standard ones that we've become accustomed to because there's just certain companies that I I just won't buy from anymore. It's either their customer service, they might have beautiful paintings, but their customer service is crap. Or they have great customer service, but their paintings are crap. And either way, it's not a good situation because diamond paintings are an investment, not only of your time, but of your money. And so it's nice to find another company that is, in my opinion, quite affordable and has amazing, unique pictures. Um, okay, friends. So it took me some digging, but I finally found a dang measuring tape that has centimeters on it. So I won't be able to get right in your eye line. But I'll do the best I can here. At least you can just watch me measure, I guess. Okay. So we're hitting them right at 59 and a half. Oh, it's like 59 and three quarters or whatever. So it's awful close. I'll take it. That That's fine by me. <laughs> um, in case you're curious, in inches, that is 23 and three quarters by 23... And three quarters so I don't know I'm it must be off a little bit on my measurements and centimeters because they're the exact same so very nice very nice um let me pause you and I'm gonna run over scoring really quick and I will come back and let you know what I have come up with and then we'll close out this video and I'll give you my final thoughts on Victoria's moon and I have returned so, scoring guideline for an unboxing on a 1 to 10 scale. So, obviously this is for Amazon packages. So, this has nothing to do with it. This little yellow post-it. I did give it a 9.5 out of 10. I took away a half a point for the uh, inside packing. Everything being packed nicely to avoid damage. It was either that or the outside packaging. But I felt the outside packaging was really nice. The thick black plastic to protect it against getting wet and stuff but based on how the diamonds were in there one way or the other there wasn't enough inside of there to stop this from happening in the mail because I literally when I got it that's the first thing I noticed was how floppy it was so I only took a half a point off because they included patches 
to repair any damaged canvases. Otherwise, it would have been a 9 out of 10. So very, very impressive. And they have such a beautiful box, too. The diamonds that says best wishes for you. How sweet. Honestly. Um, number one, non-ironing. I don't know what that means. Uh, shiny diamond, diamond ancestry. DMC standard colors. I'm guessing that this is supposed to be a self-flattening canvas. If that's what they mean by the non-ironing. I'm not really sure. But they even on the very bottom have some claims. They're a little blurry, but it does say... 447 colors okay so they that's what this is 447 dmc standard colors so that's what they use and then this i believe is saying oh gosh i have no idea yeah no clue there environmental protective premium quality and attentive service yeah that diamond one i have no idea it's super blurry I don't know. But either way, I'm probably still going to iron this. I'm hoping that that doesn't mean I can't iron it. I'm still going to. I'll just test a small area because I'm going to alternate between this one and my wedding one. So I'm going to have two giant ones going at once. And uh, I'm going to do alternate drill with me's on this. I don't know when. I have quite a few videos, uh, crafting videos to get caught up on and stuff. But I did want to work on this one for you guys so you could see the quality firsthand because that's really the best way to see the quality of a painting is to watch a drill with me in which somebody's working on it because if they run into problems on camera they can't hide it i mean they could edit it out but then you're still gonna know and most people are gonna be honest with you anyway as long as they're not as long as they haven't sold their soul to a company or something and i'm not that's not directed at anybody. That's just a general broad YouTube statement. So, but most people are going to tell you, they're going to be honest with you because we all know how expensive these diamond paintings are. Um, as far as Victoria's Moon, I'll put that link down in the description. I'll put the link for this particular painting also right underneath it in case you just want the same painting. And then... I will also put that link for the bone folder down below because I think everybody needs one for their diamond painting. It has become one of my top tools to use in diamond painting. But, yeah, that's really all I have for you. Again, this is not in American dollars, so I'm pretty sure they do the conversion right at the end. They did claim for free shipping and stuff like that. But they have a beautiful website, very easy to navigate. So I highly recommend them. Go check them out. See what they got. I'm sure everyone will find something for them. I mean, like I said, there were so many. And I'm very picky when it comes to diamond paintings. But I liked this one a lot. And it actually made me think of my daughter. And obviously, I have a black cat who's very close to my heart. And so there's the other reason for that. So that's all I got for this video, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below. I love to hear from you. I am doing so, trying to do so much better about being active with my social medias and responding to comments and stuff. You'll have to stay tuned for the next drill with me to really, I'm really just going to get in on it with my feelings and let you all know what's been going on and stuff. So, but with that, I'm going to let you go. Have an awesome day. Have fun diamond painting, have fun crafting, have fun doing whatever it is that makes you happy. I love you, friends, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!